August 1944, and the German army and Waffen-SS is fighting desperate battles to contain the Allied breakout in Normandy. Steadily pushed back towards the Seine, Hitler refuses to allow an orderly withdrawal across the river to new defensive lines, effectively dooming much of the army in Normandy to annihilation in what becomes known as the Falaise Pocket. By late August 1944, the end was rapidly approaching for the German army in Normandy. One unit, 1st Company of SS Heavy Panzer Battalion 101, had been pulled out of the fighting and re-equipped with the new King Tiger tank. Fighting separately from the rest of the unit which was still inside the Falaise's pocket, the 1st Company fought to try and keep routes open to the Seine and possible salvation. On the 23rd of August, the 1st Company had suffered its first losses. One King Tiger had been knocked out by an M10 of the US 749th Tank Destroyer Battalion. The second was destroyed by an anti-tank gun. On the 26th of August, a platoon of King Tigers was attacked by US P-47 Thunderbolts near the village of Fontenay-Saint-Pierre. During the attack, Tiger II No. 124, commanded by SS Oberschaufuhrer Fritz Zahner, was damaged and began to retreat towards the village of Montguisson. What happened to King Tiger 124 is open to debate, for there are three versions of the story. One story was of an enormous crater in the road caused by one of the bombs. The driver was too late to avoid it and the tank fell in. The crew couldn't extract the tank and therefore abandoned it. The second version of the story is that the air attack caused the crew to abandon 124. To clear the road, the tank was shoved into a crater. The third story, probably the least believable, was that the tank was overturned onto its side before being shoved into the crater. Either way, King Tiger Tank 124 did indeed end up inside a crater. Shortly after the war, local French scrap merchants started to purchase the wrecked tanks that littered the battlefields. Number 124 was broken up by using a large explosive charge that blew the turret off. The scrapping of the King Tiger appeared to be incomplete. The main body of the tank was simply buried under the new road, the D913. And there it has remained, largely forgotten until the present day. The smashed turret and some other parts were discovered in 2001 and excavated and put in a private garden. The turret pieces consist of the left side, half of the right side, the bottom and the upper part of the turret. The gun and the mantlet were not recovered, and 99% of the internal parts are also missing. Historians have been trying to get permission to excavate the tank for over four years, but it's not been easy. The recovery project has the written agreement of the German ambassador to France and the German army, which make no claim to the tank. The French side is somewhat more complex. In the 17 years since the turret was recovered, French law has changed and artefacts like this can no longer be privately owned. The turret has to go to a museum. A local group was initially against excavating the King Tiger, but then changed their minds, hoping that it would become a roadside memorial. However, concerns were then raised about the tank becoming a memorial to France's enemies. So though the tank will be recovered, it must also go to a museum. In 2017, the regional governor gave his permission to dig the tank up, but a six-month legal consultation between his office, the Ministry of Defence, the French Army, the Ordnance Department, the local mayor, gendarmerie and police all followed. It has been agreed that the King Tiger will never leave France. A further concern are any 88mm shells still aboard the wreck, which pose a significant danger, and the rerouting of the road while the excavation is in progress. It was expected that digging would commence this year, 2018, though it seems unlikely now. We will have to stand by and monitor news of this very rare tank. One important question is what kind of state this tank is in after over 73 years in the ground. Though the parts recovered from the earth in 2001 were in a fairly good condition. I hope you've enjoyed this program. If you have, please do subscribe and also remember to share. Many thanks.